What is up, guys? Argue back again, and you know what? I got you guys some Halo 4. That's right, Halo 4 gameplay, and I know you guys probably aren't used to having shooters on the channel, but I really want to start incorporating some new gameplay, so why not start some off with some Halo 4? So, this is just my first thoughts and impressions. Uh, this is maybe this is second game I got into. And you know what? I got I got a pretty good game here. Pretty lucky. Pretty good gameplay though. Um, other than that though, I've played probably six games and I've just been getting destroyed in most of them. Right now I start off using the BR. I was watching a couple videos and I was watching the MLG stream and a lot of those guys said the DMR was better. So eventually I switch over the DMR there. But after playing Halo for a while, you really gotta play with the team or else you get nowhere in this game I've noticed. It's a lot of the game is team shooting. If you're just going by yourself, some other team, or the other team I should say, is gonna have two guys on you and you are just gonna get destroyed. Like, two, they're gonna, each, each of them are gonna put two shots into you and you're dead. Where you're gonna have to put four or five, because I believe with the DMR it's four shots to the head, BR it's five shots to the head, but the DMR has a little bit of bloom on the gun if you start firing it. But, um, I don't know. I like Halo. I've always been a big Halo player. Halo 2 is by far my favorite, and a lot of people were comparing this to Halo 2. It's obviously a lot different than Halo 2. Guns are different, play styles are way different. But right now, playing through the maps, some of the maps, I'm not going to lie, I don't really like the maps. There's a lot of, I guess you could say, areas where. You can be, there's there's a lot of vantage points in a lot of the maps where one point of the map just controls the whole map roughly or the whole section of the map and you can't, if you're like below or uh, to the side of it, you can't really get them but they can get you so it's going to be, it's going to get a little while to get used to that. Um, also the spawning, I've noticed the spawning is pretty sporadic and I don't know if I'm liking that right now, a lot of times, like I believe what am I playing here? I'm playing a uh, Team Slayer Pro or Pro Team Slayer, whatever it's called. And uh, this is the more competitive game mode, I would suggest, uh, because there's no radar. It's using more of just set classes. There's none of the, what are those, like kill streaks or whatever you get when you get a killing spree in this game mode. So it is a little more competitive compared to like Infinity Slayer, where you have a radar. And I've noticed in this, like, You'll be running around and some dude will spawn next to you. That guy just teabagged me, got me a little mad. But, um, yeah, without the radar, it's pretty tricky. You really have to watch where you're running. This map was a little easier because they kind of just spawn. You just keep running in circles to catch up to them. But, um, I, I don't know. I'm liking it. I'm going to say I'm liking it right now, and I hope I like it. I hope I continue to like it, and I don't get mad at it. With Black Ops coming out, I really... I'm not gonna lie. I hope this game prevails over Black Ops. I want I want Halo to come back into the limelight for me. Uh, even though Black Ops was one of my favorite CODs besides Call of Duty 4, I really hope that Halo 4 can take it over. Both are gonna be good shooters, though. I think Halo 4 is more of a team shooter. If you're playing by yourself, it's not gonna be that fun. If you're trying to play to win. But if you're just going to be playing like Big Team Slayer or something like that, hop in, play by yourself. It's not going to be a big deal. Because, you know, a lot of people playing Big Team Slayer, they're playing with guests. They're playing it to mess around, drive vehicles, screw around. Like, it's not going to be a really serious game mode compared to this where it's four on four. Basically, if you get outmanned, you're basically done. It's really hard to come back um, if you're down a man in a firefight. Unless you get a lucky nade. What can I say? I'm going to try to improve my game here, give you guys some tips. But most of the tips and stuff like that will be going on the other channel, Aggress TV, where me and Gavin are going to really be focusing on how to improve your gameplay, how to get better at games, and how to play more competitively. Um, I haven't really talked about that in a while, but I don't want to do it in this video. You guys can go check out Aggress. That's enough of Aggress in this one here. So, but, I don't know, that's all I want to say right now. I don't really want to ramble on. You guys can watch the rest of the video here. Watch me tear it up against these guys. I was getting a couple good shots off. Made me feel pretty happy about myself until I played the rest of the game and got torn up. But, thanks for watching, guys. 
Let me know what you guys think of Halo. You guys pick it up? I definitely think it is a buy. Haven't played any campaign yet, but I've heard it's pretty amazing. So, thanks for watching, guys. Peace out. It's been Argue, and as always, have fun gaming.